Fatagin, uh, Tales of the Creeping Madness. We are checking this out. Thank you to developers for providing us a copy of this. We're actually checking out, um, I believe Fatagin does, is released on Steam, but we were provided early access to the Dark Young expansion. Ooh. Which has... It's got a new ancient one, more stories, new ritual items, new in-game items and buffs, new game modifiers, and more investigators. Yeah. Live. So I do just want to put the caveat that this is like early access to this expansion, so they did say that some stuff is slightly unfinished, but thank you anyway. It, it's awesome. So, we appreciate um, it. Thank you. For those that don't know what this game is like, I have not played it yet, but from my brief uh, look at it, I get a vibe of something like Armello, where we each take a turn and it's, there's a board to sort of go around on, and something like um, uh, the Yog, where we just sort of like make one choice or the other. Uh, I believe there's six turns that each of us will get, and then at the end of the game, someone gets like sacrificed to the Eldritch God or something see, it's like an that. Eye. I see it. Okay, I've been waiting so long for it to move around, and finally. It's now moving, thank you. I think it's based on mouse. It's based it's on, on the it's, mouse, It's following yeah. me doing the mouse. Oh, that explains it. Okay. Let's go start. Yeah, so it's, 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 uh, Armello meets Yogg set in a Lovecraftian universe. Should we play with the tutorial? This is our first time playing. I it. think I feel like we, we need should. to play with it, yeah. Probably. There's All right, some the Dreaming prompts. Eye. A small cult dedicated to the waking of the Great Dreamer. When the dark moon rises, the temple of the Great Dreamer will rise once again uh, from the ocean floor, and time will be at hand. Basic cult, ideal for beginners. Mods can be played. Let's go. All Let's right. go. So, selecting character. I'm going to be player one. I want to be the then... red one. Okay, so that's player two. It's just I a guess who... I'll be player three. Okay, and then Jazzy, you're player four. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What happened? Why didn't it? Try again. Why didn't it select? There you go. And then there we go. Boop. Perfect. I'm okay, beautiful. good. Let's go. Start. <clears throat> Ash, you're beautiful. <laughs> I'm like Billy Zane. Welcome to <laughs> Photogen. <laughs> You have six rounds to prepare for the ritual. To pass the ritual, you need to successfully complete a roll. Click the card icon to see all the possible rolls. Uh, you'll be able to select these rolls at the end of the game. Each roll has a, ma has a major and minor stat requirement. You need to pass both successfully to complete the roll. Okay. Uh, look at the card picture and prophecy text to gain clues. The ritual feedback at the end of the game will give you more clues. Okay. 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 Sure. Oh, more. <laughs> we'll uh, Elder signs and one. stats. Elder signs are used to unlock the stats required for story events and roles. You gain elder signs at the end of the game by completing hidden objectives. Elder signs are capped at 75. Wow, wow over that's a lot. stat icons to see tooltips for controllers. Oh, wait. Are there controllers? So you can't use controllers. Hold down well, the, uh, the tooltip button. The main way to gain stats is to perform an action at one of the locations in the map. Uh, at the top of each location, you can see a series of diamonds. The color of the diamonds coincide with your stats. The diamonds on the left show you the stats you will gain from choosing the first uh, action choosing one action at one. the location. And the diamonds on the right show the stats you will gain from action number two. Okay. Hmm. If you're struggling to see the different colors, you can activate colorblind mode from the main menu. Okay. That's nice. All right. <clears throat> story events. Each story has five parts, which can be followed by looking at the diamonds at the bottom of the text area. The white diamond indicates your current progress. Activity feedback explains the actions you choose and gives you guaranteed stats. Random event, the spanner of the works aimed at disrupting your well-laid plans. Read carefully for clues on how to proceed. Event decisions. Choose one of two actions. Each will have a stat requirement to pass. Look at your current stats and choose carefully. We understand that. Event feedback. When your decision is made, it is now time to face the consequences. If you fail, we'll give you a little something. Pay attention to the feedback. This will provide clues to the reset requirement. Event summary. Summary stats result in all five parts. Okay. Well, the Multiple characters. characters. The character with the highest influence stat will always play first. <laughs> there is a draw. The characters will play in the sequence that you chose them at the start of the game. Only one character per location, per round. The end of the game, only one character per roll. Oh, wow. The ritual. Choose the role that you think you can pass based on your stats and the role's major and minor requirements. Read carefully through the ritual feedback for clues on which stats were needed, and maybe in this life or the next, <laughs> you will cause the end of the world. Ooh, what? you can only hope. You can only hope. 
At the end of the game, you will gain Elder Signs. You can use these in your next playthroughs. Oh, oh. to unlock some of the roles or events to make it easier. Uh, if you want to expand your story base, head over to the Mods button on the main page and see if there are more stories online. Or, why not use our Content Creator app to create your oh, own? Create your you own. can find wow. the app on the Tools section of the Scene Client. Okay. That is cool. And that's finally, it. Have, fun. have fun! Well, that's it from us. If you ever want to see the tutorial again, you can select it in the options menu. <laughs> when you start a new game from us at Design Imps, have a photogging good time. <laughs> All right, let's go, photogging. Sounds good. Click to let's continue. Let's do it. All right, so this is me. God, you are a handsome double. This music. Um. Okay, where should I go? I don't have any stats yet, so it really doesn't matter, I don't think. Um, let's go to the university. Yeah, go get your oh. smart on. Uh, okay, I can either delve through those homes or go on an expedition. Hmm. Um, okay, and so those are the stats it would give you. Oh, yes. right, 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 right. Uh, this would give me double the green. This story, like, gives me three of different things, so I'll go for that one. Uh, you convince the university facility to send you on an expedition. You push your body to its limits, searching for lost artifacts and forbidden knowledge. You gain one body, one knowledge, and one magic. Cool. Here. It was your first albedo caramel ritual. Um, albedo? Where'd you add those, where'd you add those letters Where from? Where did you get Albo the beetle from? <laughs> Albo caramel Where'd you get the beetle? <laughs> where'd you get the beetle? <laughs> and you excitedly took your place in the circle as the high priestess started her fest, her fervent and trance-like <laughs> in <laughs> incantation. <laughs> Halfway through the ritual, you suddenly felt an all too familiar spasm in your gut. Oh, oh no, yeah. I got the diarrhea, y'all. You got and the beetle. realized <laughs> <laughs> that your spicy lunch was about to make a comeback. There was suddenly no way you could excuse yourself, and the uh, ritual was far from over. Uh, if you oh let it no. rip, you'll have to be ready to shift the blame. But if you keep it in, you'll definitely learn the meaning of pain. What will you do? Oh my Ash, god. Ash, let it rip, dude. I'm gonna let it rip, <laughs> Let it rip, dude. <laughs> you suspiciously <laughs> glance at the hooded and masked figures around you. Is anyone really going to know that it was you who farted? <laughs> As you continue oh, with the ceremonial man. back and forth swain, you decide to let it out slowly. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what is happening? Now... <laughs> The acoustics of the room was specifically designed to oh, intensify no. the sound of incantations, and unfortunately, that meant that any other that that's meant for any other sounds as well. You got a real incantation of your own. <laughs> <laughs> your air biscuit turned into a real squeaker, and instead of the silent poof of air, it sounded like a balloon being deflated very slowly and very loudly. Oh my god. Luckily, because the acoustics, no one could pinpoint exactly w where, th where the fart came from. <laughs> and as you moved away from the smell, you disguisedly pointed to a nearby cult. Disgustedly. Good save. Good save. You did it. I good job. Two you saved yourself, though. That's good. The ritual is now being rudely the ritual now being rudely mm. interrupted by your stinky secret <laughs> was postponed <laughs> to the <laughs> to the following week. week. Pass though. You good pass. job. I like All that right. that uh, like Cthulhu thumbs up there. I like. Rick, it's you. Okay, I'm gonna use my controller because <laughs> I can. Um, okay, so I can't go to the Miskatonic University because you went there. Um, womp womp. I can go to the Church of the Starry Wisdom. Look, it I can has go get some hell wisdom. in there. Yeah. It does have hell. Oh, so here's my, here's my question. Are we <clears throat> trying to work together at the end? Or no. Is it no. I, I believe only one of us can sort of like be the person that wins. And I'm almost positive that one person gets sacrificed at the end as well. I oh go my to God. the magic shop. Ooh. Take Ooh. them to the magic shop. Uh, man the shop or cast spells. So if I man the shop, I'm going to get two of those yellows. I don't know what those are. I think that's I money. Think, I think the purple is, I think you might be right. The I think it's is money magic. and magic and then magic and then something else. Mm. You'll see them when you pick them because it'll show them yeah. all at the bottom. I'm yeah. going to do the man the shop. You operate the shop front, buying powerful artifacts and selling some love potions and minor <laughs> trinkets. 
gain two magic and or one magic and two riches. The cult had sent you with money to bribe an official. On the way, you had a thought. As a cultist, it is kind of expected of you to be a backstabbing son of a gun. Yes, sir. Therefore, of a gun. the logical course of action would actually be to keep the money for yourself. It'd be easy to pull off either way, but if you keep the money, you'll have to make it look convincing. Alternatively, carrying out the drop-off might lead to some more blackmail opportunities. Ooh. Um, I mean, I always do like some more blackmail opportunities. Mm, make it look Get like I was it. robbed. You know what? I'm going to go through with the payment. Deciding not to cross people, you can literally summon monsters. Who can literally summon monsters? You head for the meeting site. The drop-off goes without a hitch, and you make a mental note of the official's face. Could be useful for later. Gain two influence. Yeah! Nice! All right. You did End it! End that turn. End that turn. Yours was way less exciting. I know. Ash was like, You perfect. didn't have the toots. All right. I didn't have what the toots. What is with Madam Fufu's? Is that like you would spend money? You, um, I think you could earn like that much money. I think you could gambling. potentially earn that much money. But why double or nothing. Have, like, it says double or nothing on the side there. Uh, uh, but, like, I'm wondering if you have to have money to gamble. You know? Price like, you look like Barbara Streisand in a little hat. They do kind of look different. Yeah, uh, you're right. No, I'm Lady Gaga on St. Patrick's Day, you liar. Okay. Whatever you want to um, call so it. I can't go there. I'm going to go to Arkham. Ooh. Okay. What do you think the black means? The gray. Uh, maybe it's um, random. It's because oh, I'm be. not seeing it on any of the bottom, so I think it could yeah. be a random thing. Or the hotel. I'm or gonna go to the hotel. You, you know what? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a lover. Ooh, it's downtown. All actually. about the heart. The downtown hotel. Plan a perform heist. Perform the reaping. For plan a heist. <laughs> I'm gonna perform the reaping, yo. Yeah, do it. <laughs> the ancient one demands sacrifices. At night, you scour the slums for worthy victims, slaying gangsters and vigilantes and chasing down those who run away. That's right, I'm a superhero. Gain two body and one performance. Yeah. This cult thing was actually quite fun. <coughs> Considering that you were all a bunch of evil bastards, there was a surprising amount of camaraderie. Aww. For instance, today was Sally Whitaker's birthday, and the Aww. other cultists had worked together to organize her a little party after the weekly ritual sacrifice. It was your job to bring the cake. Since you wanted to make a good impression, you had decided to bake yourself. In your grand wisdom, you decided to pop over to the uh, Athenium and grab a recipe from one of the grimoires. Hmm. Seeing as you weren't yet too familiar with the ancient languages, you relied mostly on the pictures. One cake looked quite cool, with multicolored lightning bolts flying in every direction. You assumed the lightning bolts were used metaphorically. The other cake had a giant muscle-bound figure erupting from it. Probably meant for a bachelorette party, but now wasn't the time to get picky. Uh, Ooh. bachelorette cake, yes. Yeah. The recipe called for a lot of Yeti pheromones and troll glands, but as per usual, Mrs. Wiggins Pantry had everything you needed. Seeing as the cake was hollow, you figured it would be a fun prank to jump out of the cake and shout, Surprise! Oh no, are you gonna kill in. her by accident? With everything prepared, your magnificent cake was placed in the center of the room, awaiting the birthday girl. As you heard Sally come in, you tried to suppress your giggling, not even wondering why the cake seemed to be shrinking. You could hear her muffled speech as she thanked everyone for the lovely party, and it wasn't long before you heard her walking up to the cake to cut everyone a piece. When you thought <gasps> she was close enough, you jumped out of the cake and yelled, Surprise! <laughs> Sally Whitaker oh! promptly died of fear as a gigantic, hairy monstrosity erupted from the cake. <laughs> Apparently, the chemicals in the cake had seeped into your body, causing your muscle mass to nearly <laughs> double, giving you a pair of sharp tusks, and covering your body in matted fur. Gain two, Gain two body. <laughs> I became a pig monster. It's wonderful. And though you were now in, great in a fight, it unfortunately meant hours of grooming, shaving, and tusk filing whenever you were to go out. All right. Oh, okay. You got four strength, I think that was? I'm going to punch Cthulhu yeah. in his tentacle. You're a strong boy. I am right, strong, lady. So you I cannot go to, go to the hotel for it is where so, I get to you. Hey, Jazzy, uh -huh. do me a favor. Click on those cards in the corner because we haven't done that yet. These ones? Oh, okay, so left. riches? The lower left, the lower left. Oh, these All ones. All the way over there. Oh. oh! So these are the things that they said that I guess <clears throat> we can collect or something? Or, or are these the rolls? Like, click on these one of the them, These are the rolls or the goals? Remember, it's like, yeah. I think these are things that you can accomplish. Cl cl yeah. Click on one of them, because I think it'll uh, tell us. I'm, I'm trying to figure out which one I want. I want to be this one. Okay, After so After 100,000 years of conjecture. You don't have what you need to unlock it. Right. Oh, but okay. because, okay, so yeah, so it tells us the requirements, okay. And I think that we need to start getting some of those cards to win the game, I think is how it works. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, on, on the first turn, I don't think you can have any of those points. No, no, anyways, no, no, no. Right? I was just curious how it worked. Yeah. And Elder then, Jeff, you were hovering... the stats. Yeah. You were hovering over the Elder Signs as well. I'd be interested to see what they all say. <clears throat> all right, money, so treasure, and assets. 
Uh, Sanity. Mental. Okay. Mental stability, willpower. Got it. Knowledge, Knowledge. wisdom, intelligence, and tomes. Okay. Knowledge. Knowledge. Magical abilities, artifacts, and spells. Got okay. it. Performance. Dexterity, reflexors, uh, artistic lying. ability, lion, attitudes, feeling. Lying. Okay. Strength, Rogue constitution, skills. weapons. And this is influence, charisma, oh, persuasion, induction. Gotcha. Okay. So the stuff on the left is mostly physical. The stuff on the right is mostly mental. Mm, right. And the far right is coinage, and then the middle is magic. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I want to do this one then. Ooh. Where'd you start with wisdom? Indoctrinate oh, or organize a bike sale? Uh, ex I'm going to indoctrinate. Get that wisdom or influence. Putting yep. on your best fake smile, you convince the hapless to join your cause. You gain one performance and two influence. After a hard day's work, you are off to the first cultist mixer, a sort of know-your-own-fellow-world-destroyers kind of thing. <laughs> After a few drinks, okay, more than a few, that sounds like me, you figured it out it was time to press your new mates. You should show a spell you had seen and really get this party started. Or you could suggest to get some tattoos, which would really help the bonding process. Ooh. Oh, I don't oh have Jasmine, magic. Do, you see, do you see what it says on locks? Yeah, I know, it, but I don't she have can't, She can't do that one because that's show off her magic and she doesn't have... I don't have any magic, so I'm going to do tattoos. Let's get some matching tattoos, guys. All chicken nugs, all the time. You know, a couple of the guys and gals stumble into an all-night tattoo parlor and decide to get matching tattoos of the ancient one. Unfortunately, the hey. tattoo artist having no reference for a multi-dimension being a pure chaos and horror, give you a tattoo of a white kitty with a pretty pink bow. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, you're all suddenly swore a blood pack to never show or speak of it ever again. I got two more influence. You I can pass. just put some tentacles on the kitty and then just call it, you know, good. Yeah. Cycle two. So I now I believe the first player is going to be the person with the most influence. And that be oh. me. Dat me. Dat me. Ah, dat jazz dough. Dat jazz. Okay, so what's this one? Knowledge. Knowledge and sanity. I want to try this. Okay. That sounds cool, right? Yeah. Experiment, Experiment on, on the patients. Or check in. I get. Some knowledge and some sanity points. Oh, we can just the, cover what does the that. black mean? What is the great? Oh, insanity. <gasps> Shows how much you succumb to the madness. You can what? so you can make yourself mad. Whoa! <clears throat> it's like a where, hidden. Where stat. is that? Yeah, where is that track? Uh, I think stat it's probably track. like a hidden stat. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably hidden. Uh, I think I want some sanity. I'm sorry, guys. I think I need sanity. That's okay. You have seen too much, and you feel your fragile hold on reality slipping. Some time spent in the asylum has given you more insight into the human mind and helped you achieve some inner peace. Gain one knowledge and two sanity. Sweet. It was a basic rule of both physics and mad science. If you're going to kidnap and induct people to experiment, bodies are going to pile up. And frankly, the lab was starting to smell. It was time <laughs> to make a plan. Use magic, start a puppy show. You can't do either of those. <laughs> I'm starting a puppet show, guys! Yeah! Frankly, you weren't crazy enough for the macabre display, and the fact that you even came up with it had you a little worried. Lose two sanity. Oh, I lost my sanity. Maybe you should take a bit break from the sanitarium. Seriously, weirdo, you're freaking out everyone else. I failed! failed. Oh, no! You did right, not Rick. have the goods. Okay. Um, so I've got... Let's see. What oh, do I I like need? that the turn counter is the I moon, need? and it's slowly cresting. That is kind of cool. You know, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Town Hall. Oh, okay. some influence. Blackmail or Hobnob? Ooh. Um, ooh. Ash likes Hobnobs. I do ooh. like Hobnobs. You know what? I'm going to... But in this, in this case, I imagine it's more like rubbing elbows. Right? I'm going to Hobnob. I know. You attend the try, grand functions it? of the rich and influential. Now is the time to eat, drink, relax, and worm yourself into the rich middle class. Nice. You gain one sanity, one performance, and one ooh. influence. While Good sitting job. in your office, you suddenly hear a raucous commotion from downstairs. As you rush it to see what's going on, you are suddenly assailed by smoke rising from the first floor. <gasps> from the shouted slogans, you immediately realize the town hall has been attacked by the National Anti-Prohibition League. Uh -oh. Another Molotov cocktail flies through your window, instantly setting your desk on fire. Oh, you Help don't have stop the spreading stuff. flames. No, no, it unlocks those if you do it successfully. If That's you do how it you get those points. Right. Mm -hmm. Go oh. beat the snot out of the protesters. I don't have enough strength to do that. Mm. Stop. Help stop the spreading flames. I guess I could try that. So, how to go you about this? You have more this? dexterity. You, maybe you Being can. Being the oh. intellectual type, evident by your grandiose use of superfluous words to make you sound more photosynthesis, <laughs> photosynthesis. you decide to make a contraption that will use the water and toilets to cover the building. It takes you a couple of minutes to draw up the plans, but in the end, you realize you didn't know what you were oh, doing. No. Eureka! 
You could still have the same effect if you stuck a stick of dynamite in the toilet. Five minutes and 12 sticks of dynamite later, you press down the plunger. <laughs> the whole building goes up in smoke and billowing rubble. At least the fire's out, you think. Game one sanity. <laughs> and a couple of our enemies are dead. You say it's trying to see the brighter side. Game one inputs. Wow. Well done. Good fail. Good fail. That was a good fail. <laughs> Epic fail. It's me. Oh, man. All right, oh, Ash, I go what are you going to do? Uh, okay, so I'm curious about this. Um, so you I... know what? We, none of us have these points because they need the um, right. those little ones on the lower right. The little those like, checks that points. we just that I just did. Oh, that's these. how you get those points. Oh, you yeah. need elder signs. Okay, yeah, exactly. my bad. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. So for Rick, that check that he did, it said he would unlock. Right. That when it says unlocks, it doesn't mean that I need those to unlock it. It says I would yeah. get that if I unlock it. Yeah. I wonder what insanity can do for you. Yeah, I know. I know, I'm curious. I'm curious. When negative will change to insanity, huh? Oh, okay, so that so it's a two-sided thing. So you can become insane or be sane. Because this is an eldritch thing and insanity is a whole a whole yeah. deal with that, right? Trenton <laughs> says stop thing. failing. Like we can. <laughs> yeah. It's all checks and balances. That's how dude. it works. That's yeah, that's exactly how it works. You just say yeah. it and then it's and then you stop. Uh, Try it. Body performance. I'm gonna go for Planet Heist. Yeah, because Price did the reaping last time. Yeah. You orchestrate heists on museums and private collections. You get ample opportunity to practice your sleight of hand and are rewarded with occult artifacts and treasures to fence. You gain one performance, one magic, and one riches. Everyone was already there by the time you and your entourage arrived. You have, a, I have an entourage? Heck yeah, yeah, you now. It's because you watch so much entourage. I do. That's In the true, center of the abandoned warehouse was a big circular table and arranged around it was the entire DeLuca crime family. Save Ooh. one. You stepped <laughs> on their toes more than once, but they have agreed to hear your offer. Threaten Ooh. them or assassinate them. Ooh, Ash. Um, what stats do you have? You can look at your stats. Yeah. You've got... Uh, I feel like you have a really good performance, which is... Performance What's the peak is... right there? That's performance, yeah. That's performance, yeah. Stealing, subterfuge, lying. Yeah, I don't know that that's going to help Thank you I think much. you need influence to... A threat's a lie, threat. right? It is kind unless, of a lie. Unless you're following it up. That's true. Yeah. It is sort of a performance. It is It is sort of lying. I'd say out of those two choices, that's probably your best bet. Yeah, because I feel yeah. like assassinate them. Do you think I would need body <laughs> for that? Yeah, I think you need body. Or Because I would need weapons. Maybe. Um, so I think threatens probably my best option. You stroll into the meeting acting like you own the place, but the man sitting at the head of the table exudes true power. Don DeLuca is not impressed by your little show, and before you can even speak, two of his men grab you from behind and knock you onto your knees. You watch helplessly as the gangsters kill off your men and dump oh, them into no. the river. Oh, no. Finally, the Don turns to you and makes it clear that they don't want to see you or any other cultists on their turf again. You eagerly agree. I lose two oh. influence. I'm a negative two now. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, but then everybody's failing. failing. <laughs> Once they all, once they had all left, you notice a bloody ring laying on the ground. One of your acolytes had been holding out on you. <gasps> you smile and put them on the magic ring. I gave one minute. Oh, okay, cool. well you got that. Interesting. Wow. Okay. That's a so lot to lose. I, I feel like you're set up to kind of fail at the beginning I, because we don't on, have yeah. enough stats to really make these checks. On turn two, I feel like you're going to fail because I, I imagine you need maybe like a four or five to pass some of those. Mm -hmm. Right, like like Price has four strength, so he might be able to make a strength check. I'm going to go double around. down on my strength right now. Hunt I'm going to hunt some friggin' monsters. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> Armed with the knowledge from Dusty Tomes and Ancient Weaponry, you track down and fight mythical creatures, preparing their organs for the ritual. Game one knowledge and two body. Nice. You've been trying to figure out this conundrum for over an hour. You need to get access to the vault of Ordaun, but it is guarded by a pack of were goats. A freak accident <laughs> caused goats? one of the yep. A freak accident caused one of the goat herders to be hit uh, to be bitten by a goat under a full moon, and now there's a whole pack of blood crazed were goats marauding across the mountainside. I need fan art of this. Then it hits you. El chupacabra. Ooh, the goat sucker. You grab a toe off of the shelf. Yeah, there it is. El Chupacabra of the class Mammalia Reptilia Hybridia is native Get to the mountains like of Puerto mouth. Rico, where it feeds <laughs> off of the blood of goats. Blah, blah, blah. Eats goats. Good. Let's catch it. 
set a trap, catch it. I'm just gonna catch Ooh. it. I'm not being cunning. I'm not being smart. I, I feel I'm like grabbing that's it. the way to go. Although that's probably dexterous, Ooh, right? We will see. Not yeah. body. Set a trap. Would, but either of these are probably the same because I would say setting yeah. a trap is probably I'd knowledge, say, right? Catch it is your better option. That's my better I would option. Say, you're lying in the bush all night and your thighs were starting to cramp. You're just about ready to give up when the bleeding of the goats told you that El Chupacabra was nearby. Sure enough, and then seconds, a tiny dark form dashed out of the shadows. It dove one of the goats with such speed that it ripped out its throat before it could even blink. Three more goats fell in quick succession. Fast little blighter, you thought as you took off running. A Chupacabra spotted you and started sprinting off into the underbrush, but it was too slow for you. Before it could even reach the nearest bush, you were on top of it and oh. stuffed in your knapsack. That night, the locals celebrated you as the protector of the goats. And okay. gave you a bunch of chickens as a reward. So that nice. was a strength check. check. All right. Pass and up. I think you got the, uh, the <laughs> I might have. Yeah. So now you can, check. you can spend them in the yeah. cycle three. On my turn. All right. Click to continue. Who's oh, it's Rick now with the most influence. This time. Uh, Ash is okay. going to be last for sure. Yeah, I am. Oh, poor so Ash. So I, I am all influence again. So um, hey, Leif, I'm going to go to Church of Starry Wisdom. Doo -doo 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 and I'm going to indoctrinate. Whoa, stealing Jazzy's game. Putting on your best fake smile, you convince the hapless to join your cause, gain one performance, and two influence. Usually, <laughs> if you start a conversation with, hey, would you like to join our cult of ancient tentacled alien worshipping madmen? You get really rude answers. True, it used to be the cult's main marketing pitch during the 7th century, but that led to the Salem witch trials and widespread layoffs in the marketing department. Now these days, you start small. You start with, hey, did you know that you could have eternal life with a nearly unlimited supply of Hershey bars? If you only <laughs> let us hook you up to this machine and clench your aura. Then after a couple of sessions, you explain to them that the world was once ruled by a tentacled alien and by paying you a couple thousand dollars, you can nearly guarantee they will never show up again. <laughs> then after we're bankrupt, uh, you just after explain to them bankrupt. that serving, uh, slavering monstrosities from another dimension could actually be quite satisfying. And so you progress them through the circles till they oh, either God. earn oh, their keep You're or end up on the chopping block. Yeah. Exactly. This is ridiculous. Uh, quite simply, actually. Quite simple, actually. Only catch was that you desperately needed a new gimmick to convince people to join the first circle. Develop a new <laughs> process. Make an interesting theology. I'm going to say I'm going to make an interesting theology. I think that that's probably the best way to go about this. Deciding that you would design a whole religious text on your own, you grabbed a box of crayons and started drawing. You drew a couple of nice purple trees, which represented the evils of nature. Then you drew a pretty stick figure of a man with a pipe next to a mountain of money, which represented how rich you would become if you chopped down all the purple trees. <laughs> Finally, not being able to draw a cathedral, you drew a nice square building with a triangle roof with some smoke coming out of the chimney to represent the church. Unfortunately, no one was impressed. Damn it! You did, however, win best in show at the annual Arkham Kindergarten Art Contest. Oh. What do I need to do? What do I need to do, for God's sake? Well, obviously, oh you my need God. to stay in kindergarten for a little it's while. It's so, you like, the, how do I know what the check is going to be, for God's sake? I don't even know. I, mean, I, went, I went to Every the place where there's games. influence, so I figured that it would be influence-based. Every one of these games, man. It's like this. Yogg, uh, Monster Prom. Mon it's Monster Prom. Like yeah. You never know. You never know. Mm. Jazzy, what you going to do? That's a good question. Uh, I think I'm gonna get Rick some magic. Rick is a kindergarten cop. <laughs> I'm gonna get some magic in me, though. I, performance sounds nice too. I'm really curious about that money one. I swear, it's you got to spend m six coins, and then you'll gain something. No, really I good. think that's something you could potentially you could earn maybe if you gain, fail. If but, uh, like if you win the the check, I think you potentially get that money. Maybe. You know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the magic shop. I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna learn some magics. I'm gonna cast okay. some spells. Ooh. You summon eldritch horrors and open portals to the other planes. Your power grows, but you can feel your sanity slipping. Uh oh. Gain two magic, but lose one sanity. Now I'm insane, guys. <gasps> <clears throat> it's been raining the entire week. One day, just before closing time, a man wanders into the shop. From his bored expression, it's obvious that he's just in here to wait out the worst of the storm. Slowly, recognition draws upon you. He is one of the scientists from the Al Alitak Institute, a government-funded organization working on classified experiments. A plan forms in your head. If you could get him to wear the talisman of Oman Ofek. Oman Ofek? Is that how you pronounce it? You'd be able you to sure? spy on everything he does, but how will you do that? Convince him hmm. to take it as a souvenir or slip it into his pocket. I think you're uh, more convincing than you are. You've um, got influence. Dexterous. Yeah, convince you know? it. Yeah. Yeah. 
You welcome the men into your shop and quickly start a rapport. It starts to clear up outside and he says that he should get going. You hand him the talisman as a gift. He tries to refuse, but you are very forceful and convinced <laughs> yeah, him to open the lock. Yeah, good job. The next day you see, you, he sees you gleefully hovering over the scry in front, frantically making notes of all the experiments you witnessed the man doing. Gain two knowledge. Nice. Yep, yep. Yes. Good job. Yes. I got that magic. I got that that knowledge. <laughs> and I got that insanity. Got that insanity. Knowledge. Knowledge. All right, knowledge. so let's see if I can get one of these things. Oh, no, I didn't get the things. What? Yeah, I didn't get them. Hmm. We'll, Interesting. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, I think I want to go downtown and fight more crime, to be honest. I'm the king of crime fighting. Perform the reaping again. The ancient one demands sacrifices. At night, you scour the slums for worthy... Oh, it is the same. Dang. Chasing down those who run away. Gate to body and performance. You big boy. doubling down on that. Here body. we go. The bootlegger cracks open the crate and you stare at the neatly lined bottles of whiskey. These will fetch quite a nice price. That's me. Madame Fufu's alone will buy at least 15 crates. You hear a sharp whistling sound and the smuggler collapses, clutching the knife buried in his throat. All around you, shadowy figures step out of cover. They're stupid green hats causing you to grimace in recognition. Northsiders. Northsiders. <laughs> Damn Irish bastards. Wow. I don't... <laughs> I don't have anything against the Irish. I'm I'm Irish. Your group was surrounded. Fight your way out. Absolutely. Oh, I would love to summon an Urolf, but come on. You have I'm eight strength. Boy. It's ridiculous. Yeah. The Northsiders were only wielding makeshift melee weapons. Looks like they wanted to keep the fight civil. Fair enough. You put your gun down and pull out your kopesh, the curved blade glinting in the moonlight. One of the patties takes a swing. Wow, really? Takes a swing at you with a baseball bat covered in nails. You sidestep the swing and neatly sever his head from his neck. Horror slowly grips the heart of the Irish gang as your men draw their own kopeshes. You train these men yourself. Within seconds, you're back to hauling crates into your truck. Kick over the smuggler to see if he's still alive. Looks like I wanted to pay you after all. You smile, leaving his body amid the severed body parts. Gain four nice. riches and one influence. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm a big boy now. Yeah. All right. I feel Who like that was kind of a racial slur, like a little it, bit. So a little bit, but I, I understand this game is like set in like the 1930s. Yeah. So yeah. okay, so it it's was someone else is like moving the mouse or something. Yeah. I can't move it. There we go. It's not me. Oh, it was Let my me... uh, elbow. Sorry, I didn't realize I was, I was pushing the mouse. Um. Hmm. Ash, you, you got a rough go of it. I do. I'm gonna go here. I don't know, play the band. Gamble. There you go. Hover over the gamble. See what it says. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, Required to unlock certain events. Maybe you can bet up to that much. Yeah. Mm. Does that make sense? So, like, yeah. you've got one coin. You could bet one coin. You decide to take a break from it all. You spend the evening regaling patrons with your soulful yet slightly disturbing tunes. Ash's character looks like he could sing. You gain two oh, yeah. performance and one sanity. The I crowd had started to form voice. in one of the back rooms where a small impromptu arm wrestling competition had started. <laughs> as you pushed through the crowd, you were just in time to hear a loud snap as Seamus O'Dugan... Uh, Seamus. O'Dugan. As Seamus O'Dugan broke the wow. forearm of his latest opponent. <laughs> Now, Seamus. there's two things which you need to know about Seamus. Seamus. One, <laughs> -Man. He's, the guy, he's the kind of guy who makes Tiny Tony the Bouncer look really Tiny Tony. <laughs> two, he's the chief enforcer of the Northsiders gang. The Northsiders! Now, a normal, non-inebriated person would have thought, hey, this is fun to watch, but only an idiot would enter the competition. Thank you so much, Demon Child! Three more threes our, up! Thank you, sweet guys. Little drops of bears. sweet little Demon Child. <laughs> Unfortunately, that person was swimming in beer, in the tiny corner of your mind, shouting all kinds of profanities at you. Test your strength Ooh. or go loco? Those I are both the same thing, insane. right? No, they're not. Go no. loco is your sanity. Or and rather you're not be insane enough. Insanity. So, exactly. Yeah. I can't do either of these. I'm gonna fail yep. either one. Yep. Welcome Sorry. to my world. Sorry, buddy. Ash, pick one. I'm gonna test my strength. No. You just get swole like me, man. It solves all problems. Lady Gaga goes to the gym. Barbara. Um. Boom, 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 boom. So does I'm gonna go loco. 
You know how to act insane. Not from personal experience, but you had an Aunt Dolores who was cray cray. Knowing just what to do, you rushed off and put your plan into motion. Within minutes, you were back, all kitted out in a lace bonnet, oh, bulky dress, so and a cute. couple of knitting needles <laughs> with a big ball of wool. As you sit down in front of him, Seamus started Shamed. to fume. You think it's funny poking fun at me, ma? <laughs> Before you could explain that it was just a misunderstanding and that you were pretending to be crazy and not in fact aiming to insult his heritage, Seamus was already grabbing for your throat. Seamus. Lifting up your dress, you ran out of Madame Fufu's in as fast as your legs could carry you. Five North Siders hot in your heels. Screw it. Next time you're using magic. Gain one magic. You got a lot of magic, Ash. Good for you. Hopefully you get some magic. He's a magical boy. <laughs> Cycle four. I get to go first because I'm very influential. Oh my god. Let's see. So can I get something that will help me with the influence? Um, where do I need to go? That influence is the influence pink. Base. Influence That's is what pink. you did last time, wasn't it? I no, influence is blue. Is, is blue. It is. That's why yeah. I went to the Church of Starry Wisdom because I thought I would get an influence check, but I didn't. <gasps> you Rick, didn't you know. destroyed the town hall for everybody. Cool. <gasps> I burned it down. Nice. You didn't. So, Rick, you didn't. Um, you did gain influence, though. It doesn't tell you that that's the kind of check you're going to get. Right. I'm, the, I'm, well, yeah. I'm trying to, like, infer what sort of a check I would get in these different places. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, I'm assuming you just can't. I assume you just have to kind of, like... Oh, jeez. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just got to get lucky, I guess, huh? Um, I'm going to go with hotel. Downtown. <laughs> he didn't burn it down. He blew it up. No fires. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's true, Draker. You're right. That's Sorry. true. That's true. I apologize. I heist. I feel like that will be something that'll be neat influence, I feel. <clears throat> York Detroit heist on museums and private collections. You get ample opportunity to practice your sleight of hand and are rewarded with the cold artifacts and treasures defense. Gain one performance, one magic, one riches. One night as you walk back home, you heard a loud psst coming from the alleyway. Hand on your weapon. You carefully approach the dark figure, motioning for you to come closer. You just want to buy a unicorn horn? <laughs> the very dirty and disheveled man asked, eyes gleaming. At first, you felt quite offended, assuming it was some crass innuendo, but as he pulled a long, multicolored horn out of his trench coat, the possibilities swam into your mind. Uh, <laughs> buy it or... Oh, I can totally buy this. I have exactly enough riches. Adrenaline surging, you nearly grabbed the fabled horn out of his grasp. Before you could grab it, though, he quickly returned it to the darkness of his coat. Not offering no free samples here, he stated indignantly. Hands trembling, you hand over the money and quickly ran home with your prize. With such power, you could be rid of the others and single-handedly raise the Ancient One. Halfway home, your ambitions quickly turned to dust as you felt a stickiness in your palm. Are you friggin' kidding me? Looking down, you realize your unicorn horn was nothing more than a piece of multicolored candy. Boom. Unicorns don't exist, you moron, you groan, giving yourself a sticky face palm. Just gonna Aww. chalk this up to a learning experience. You try just to console yourself. Can you eat the candy though? Are you freaking kidding me? What <laughs> is it with this game? <laughs> and that was how your shoot first, deal with shady merchants later policy was born. This is. I am getting Are so upset with this. I, I guess I did. Okay. But I lost all my money <laughs> buying a piece of candy. Oh, man. Unbelievable. The the all right. <clears throat> Oh boy. I need some body. I need somebody, somebody to love me. I'm going to go oh, get some body. Thank you, Reader, for that Reader. two month resub. Thank you. Hello. 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 Watching you guys. I love watching you guys. Oh, thank I you so much. I some dark meditation because I get some body, but I also get and magic some and insanity. insanity. I'm going to go for the insanity Jazz right here. Jazzy's going Let's down do the crazy route. As your consciousness floats through the currents of the depths, your body is racked by the dark energy consuming through you. As your mind returns to your body, you realize that's not all of it's present. Gain one magic, one body, and lose one sanity. One day, you were sitting, minding your own business with a couple of lost children baking in the oven when you were mm. suddenly rudely interrupted by an angry mob with pitchforks and torches. They were chanting, burn, burn the, the witch, witch, burn, burn the, the witch. witch. Commits the witch, take him, blast him with magic. Oh, I could do both. Part of me thinks, so I, the way that Monster them. Prom works is it's always which one you're better at. Yeah, I could so do both, influence. but I'm better at convincing, so I'm going to convince yeah. them. Yeah. 
You approach the Ingemar shouting of villagers and start with a local rhetoric of the reasons why you couldn't possibly be a witch. Firstly, you had no warts. None. Fair. Yeah. A few in the crowd started nodding their heads. Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Secondly, you are not an old lady. Oh, that's Beautiful. right. She's oh, not that, that's old. true. Yeah, she's, she's not, not old. Even more agree with that old. statement. Also, you don't float. For your final look argument, you bring out a scale <laughs> and a duck. Yes! <laughs> yeah, you prove that you weigh more than a duck and therefore you uh, cannot float on water. Hence, you could not yeah. be a witch. Yeah. Oh, Crowd stood both true. amazed it's and ashamed yeah, at your solid fair. argument and shamefully returned to once they came. <laughs> <laughs> As they leave, an old man asks if he could buy your duck. Could I have Hell your duck yeah! Please? Hell yeah! I got <laughs> me some riches! <laughs> that was perfect. Okay. Yeah. So Running kitten, hard. 300 bits. Seamus. Thank you so much. Seamus, sweet baby Seamus. What did you say, Ash? So is it that you, um, you're not going to get elder points, you're just going to get potentially two of some other point if you maybe. do it successfully? Maybe. maybe, yeah, maybe. Or maybe you can spend, el I don't know how to get Eldritch points yet. I'm confused I know, on that. Right? Wait, I feel um, like it, well, hover over the elder points real quick. No, uh, no, no, no uh, the, the ones in the, in the corner. corner. You gain elder signs at the end of the game by completing hidden objectives. Oh, okay, so oh. at the end so of the game, these we'll are the hidden them. objectives. So FBI infiltrator is one. Maltese cockerel is one. The vigilant is one. Be prepared for the intruder and the Coventry. So it's like they give you little hints of things that could be done, mm -hmm. um, and then if you accomplish these goals at some point, then mm. you'll get a thing. Strike the jade stone gong. So like if you ever come across a thing with the gong, hit it. That kind yeah. of thing. Wait, but do they carry over from one round to the next? Because I think they might. I think, might. Do. I I think, think they might. Because that would be the only way you points. can spend them. Right. Yeah. Um, Where are you okay. going, Green Boy? You got five coins. Yet. You could gamble. You guys took my options. Um, Go gamble. That's sanity. Yeah, he I'm just wants more. We'll he just wants more mass. I He's do. Collecting mass. I do. I want protein. Give me protein. Uh, you <laughs> spend your time your gambling bike. and feeding the debaucherous habits of some of the more weak-willed patrons. The fools quickly find themselves in your debt. You want two riches and gain one influence. Thank you, Sandwich, sandwich man. man. Thank you very much for those three months. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Sandwich Man? Drop them bears. The thing about gambling is, the house always wins. You still find it surprising how few people understood that, but never one to miss an opportunity. You thought about setting up a little side business. Provide dark pacts, minus three riches. Become an asset requisition specialist. Oh, That sounds yeah. like smarts. Oh, no, that sounds like body to me. Oh. That sounds like I need to go and acquire the riches yeah, from those yeah, who yeah, are not giving yeah. them. Yep. That sounds, yeah, yep. that's me. According to the pamphlet, to become an asset requisition specialist required very little trading and not a lot of capital investment. All I needed was a trusty baseball bat or a wheel spanner for entry-level trainees. It was an outdoorsy kind of job. It involved a lot of running and swinging, and orthopedic knowledge was a plus. Sounds like fun. Sign me up, said Lady Gaga. Game one, buddy. All right. You well, are insanely strong. I'm swole Gaga, all right? Ever since oh, I erupted from that uh, <laughs> that cake as a ha like a tusked monstrosity, I've just been getting more and more swole. And you're, um... And I'm rich as hell. Ri you're rich, yeah, you're totally yeah. rich. Yeah, yeah. Um, Man, Ash, you're, uh, you're not doing so hot. Your influence is, uh, really waned. Nobody, oh, yeah. nobody is impressed by you. What happened? I'm gonna cast some spells. What did Price do? You I'm summon. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. su summon. Uh, Price beat up people with a baseball bat. That's what you mm. do. Uh, you summon Eldritch Horrors and open portals to other planes. Your power grows, but you can feel your sanity <laughs> slipping. You gain two magic, but lose one sanity. Spirits! <laughs> you think being dead would make you feel less of a prick, but you'd be wrong. You had tracked down the location of the hidden temple of Valrock. Mm. Well, you kind of had an idea about the vicinity, but had struggled to narrow it down. Having almost given up hope, you read in the papers of a tragic massacre at the railroad construction camp. Okay. To a man, they had all, to a man, they had all died under weird circumstances. Looking closer, you realize this that this particular group had been constructing a tunnel in the mountains where you were pretty sure the Temple of Valruk was located. Closing shop early, you headed to the site of the massacre as quickly as you could and performed a seance, hoping that one of the spirits could shed some more light on the location of the temple. That's when Barton Munch arrived. Barton Munch. Barton Munch, attorney at law. <laughs> 
In life, he was a nasty, crass man who would sooner punch you in the face than give you the time of day. In death, he was a nasty, crass spirit who would rather punch you than give you the time of day. At least he had matured slightly in death. <laughs> As an aggressive spirit, as the aggressive spirit materialized, he immediately started commenting about your heritage and your possible re relation to animals in the Su Sude family. Suide? No idea. Piggies. Noticing that this didn't bother you, he rushed for the attack. This wasn't your first rodeo, and you had already set up protection wards. After an hour of Barton bashing at your wards and cursing, you finally realized he wasn't going to lit up. You needed a new plan, oh. put up your dupes, or psychoanalyze Ooh. his aggression. I this is not good for you. Oh, your smarts are not good, no. Yeah, if no. you could use magic, that'd be perfect, but... Yeah, or if you can do a performance dance or something, some interpretive dance, maybe. <laughs> you have like a one to one, so it's could yeah. go either way. No, because part of me would think your sanity might have to do with psychoanalyzing as well, right? So well, check your intelligence, sanity. Intelligence, wisdom, tones. What's sanity? Yeah, do? Jasmine's saying I have a one to one because it's going to be body for one, or it's going to be knowledge for the other. And I'm saying I feel like it's psychoanalyze might not be knowledge; it might be sanity, mm -hmm. because it's psychology. It's not like mm. knowing things. It's well, about, it's mental but stability, it's mental and, stability willpower. and willpower. I think it's I think it's knowledge. Could be. Yeah. I think I'm losing either one, which sucks. I think you're losing. I think you are. <laughs> Honestly, I think to I think to pass these, I need to go to places that I don't have the points high in them, and then that tends to challenge you with the ones that you do. I, I just I always know. I just always pick punch people. <laughs> well, I mean, no, you, you get the option to punch because I'm the soul thing. Gaga. It mm -hmm. keeps giving you the option to use strength. That never gives us the option to use like. Magic or chat, influence. What do I do? Get Span strong. So, someone tell me in chat, what should I do right now? Get strong. Also, I want to point out that someone in chat said earlier that if I've got a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of body, I'm actually Dwayne the Rock Dino incarnate. So, it's true. It's true. It's, it's pretty true. Uh, okay. Seeing a lot of dukes. A lot of dukes. A lot of, a lot of psychoanalyze as well. Uh, locks a lot of dukes, though. There's more dukes I think, than I think, psychoanalyze. I think, well, well, nope. Some psychs just came in. But I think dukes <laughs> is psycho. Ahead. Punch, punch it, Chewy. Chewy. <laughs> punch right. it, Chewy. Yeah. Dukes. We're going to punch it. Now, every acolyte knew how to enchant an item to be able to touch the spirit that you had already cast the spell on your fists as you rose to challenge Barton. Unfortunately, you threw the oh, no. as you threw the first punch, <gasps> it dawned on you that you were a pretty poor fighter, even against living creatures. Aww. Your punch landed true, though, but Barton's head barely moved from the impact. My turn, he said with a smile. The blow sent you tumbling across your little fi your little fire and into your seance kit. Aww. Unfortunately, this <gasps> caused your robes to catch fire and subsequently your seance equipment as well. You Aww. lose one magic. Uh, you ran around like a crazy person trying to douse your flaming robes as Barton floated in for the kill. Just at that moment, your seance kit exploded, sending <laughs> all manner of dust and potions flying towards Barton with a hiss. And one last profanity, Barton faded into nothingness, leaving only a bit of ectoplasm behind. Seeing an opportunity to improve your physique, you use the <laughs> ectoplasm to concoct a strength potion. Nice! nice. Running kick, Next for those time, bits. I'll be ready, you thought, flexing your new muscles. I gained one body. Hey, there you go. Now you're getting a little bit tougher. Yeah, thank you, Running Kitten. You guys drop some bike shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Cycle you very five. Much. All right, it's getting Cycle close. Five. Like a five. Okay. Oh, Ooh, Marcinelle. And Marcinelle! Twelve months. That's the that's the act you've been waiting for. Wow, you, one year. You, you guys, guys are, are the best, best, and I'm so happy to be part of this awesome community. Aww. Much love. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I thought you were gonna burn down the place, Ash. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh my God. All right. Um. You have a lot of influence. I have a lot of influence. Um. Mm -hmm. See. I'm gonna go to um, the magic shoppy. Take him to the magic shop. 
Actually, I don't even know I'm gonna go to the from... Yeah, University? I'm gonna go to the magic shop. Magic shop okay. he does. I'm gonna Do cast it. a spell. Oh, I'll put a spell on you. You summon eldritch horrors and open portals to other planes. Your power grows, but you can feel your sanity slipping. Gain two magic, but lose one sanity. There were things in the depths without bodies of their own. This was the premise of most sacrifices, where blood would give them their own form in our realm, but sometimes unprepared dabblers in the occult would release such a being only to find themselves displaced out of their own bodies. This usually meant that a doctor was no help since few physicians could cure someone who can turn their heads 360 degrees without even flinching. Mm. Wow. That left some people calling for an old priest and a young priest. But let's face it, pointy-eared goat men were one thing. Tentacle cosmic horrors were quite another. I can deal with your goat problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alice, Alice Gold, Gold, for the 50 month reason. Thank you. Which this only left you. <laughs> Go ahead. What she said. So this is what happens after Monster Prom? You start a cult. This is what's going this on is... in the town right outside of Monster High. They're like, this what is, do we yes. do? They summoned all the monsters, so this is yeah. the prequel mm -hmm. to Monster Prom. Which yeah. only left you the purveyor of magical trinkets and freelance feng shui expert. As it happened, your skills were called on by Mr. Mortimer, the owner of the Mortimer and Sons can uh, cannery. Hmm. It seems one of the and sons had been playing with an old dusty tome when all of a sudden, he started speaking in an otherworldly language with tentacles <laughs> sprouting <laughs> out of his back. Mr. Mortimer was willing to pay a small fortune for you to help his discretion. Drive it out or find a replacement body. Ooh. Oh, um, wow. I have no idea. I so drive, drive it out. Drive it out magic. Drive it out's gotta be magic. Is either magic or knowledge, I imagine. To find a replacement body, I have no idea what that could no be. Clue. Maybe no influence? clue. Maybe influence? No. Maybe. That's maybe tricky. Maybe it's performance. Maybe it's subtlefuge? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gosh, Either I have no idea. I have no clue. Either yeah. way, my performance and magic are the same, and I'm pretty sure Drive It Out is going to be magic, so I'm going to go with magic. I hope so, yeah. Mm -hmm. You are a notorious scaredy cat, but do you know what great idea you had? You and your infinite wisdom decided you would drive out a cosmic horror. A horror, which, by the way, couldn't inhabit human bodies, cause tentacles to sprout from their backs, and could say really hurtful things about your mother. <gasps> Needless to say, it oh, no. did not end well. No. You started wetting yourself, and when it started, stared at you with its pitch black eyes, gave a cruel grin, and said, boo. Oh, it was, too it was sanity. a sanity check. The rest was kind of a blur, crying, running, screaming, and smashing into glass objects. At least you had the sense to pocket a gold statue on your way out. Dude. Oh, wow. That sucks. Seriously, this game... It's mm. it's so impossible to figure out what the hell you hey, need to do. You're yep. telling me I've yet to pass a single one. I don't one think of Ash, this. Is, yeah, Ash hasn't done a single one. I'm going to go to the university. Gosh darn and it. You kids keep I'm taking go all the expedition. good ones and you get mad at me for staying swole. It's the only place I can go is the gym. <laughs> you convince the university fac uh, faculty to send you on an expedition. You push your body to its limits, searching for the lost artifacts and forbidden knowledge. Gain one body, one knowledge, and one magic. Sweet. You lift your head from the Book of Iben, and your concentration broke by the reveries from the office next door. Annoyed, you get up to see what the commotion's about. What's the Standing amongst his colleagues is Dr. Jones, freshly returned from Peru, <gasps> and what he holds in his hand makes your eyes widen. Dr. Jones, you Dr. Rush Dr. Back Jones. To the door, <laughs> you rush back to the Book of Iben and fiercely flip the correct page. There it is, the golden statue of Pachamama. 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 <laughs> Excuse me, an avatar of the Sithagog. Sithagwa. Sure. The spell to release its power. Steal the eider or ask to borrow. Um, I can't steal. I could probably ask. Yeah. Persuasion. That's got to be persuasion. You have you have made some powerful connections, and even though you see that Dr. Jones would like to refuse your offer, he could not. There you Later go. that night, you chant the spell, and you can feel the power of the idol filling you. Two bodies! Wow, look at that. The next day, you return the idol to Dr. Jones, smirking at the fact that he is none the wiser. Look at so, that. Hell yeah! Yeah, the way that I think that these all work is if you pass it, you get two of something. <laughs> if you fail it, you yeah. lose one of something, but you get one yeah. of something else. Yeah. Old Thank, Sam, you, Thank you so much for those tournaments. All right, thanks for the Gaga. Swole Gaga. Um, I mean, you can still get swole. I can still keep getting swole, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna get like I think we're, we're on night five. <laughs> I'm gonna just go all swole. We're going swoles to the wolves. All right. So <laughs> we're performing the reaping once again. The ancient one demands sacrifices, and I'm beating the crap out of people. Gain two body and one performance. Being part of a doomsday cult has its disadvantages. There's the constant threat of investigators becoming the next sacrifice and mystery stew Mondays. But through all of this, you still had each other's backs. 
Sure, sometimes it meant stabbing someone in said back, but at least you did it with a clean dagger. And sure, you didn't always see eye to eye, or eye to eye to third eye, in some cases. But you could always agree that the world should end in tentacles and teeth. So when you heard that someone had turned their back on the cult and had gone to the police, it caused bile to rise in your throat. This time, it was Cedric Goodfellow. Should have known. Goddamn, that Goodfellow. Sh- Should have hired Cedric Badfellow. Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, oh, man. man. You liked Cedric. It's not true. No, I didn't. <laughs> Always fun at parties, made the best pumpkin spice lattes, and never <laughs> once tried to kill you. Okay, so you were going to sacrifice him later in the week, but still. Rude. Create a voodoo doll. Break into the precinct. I mean... Uh, this would probably be magic or knowledge yeah. or any of that stuff. Yeah. This <laughs> is the closest thing to a physical thing. I ain't messing with none of these. These yeah. bottom these bottom four. So true. we're breaking in. You thought of you thought of yourself as one of those great actors of the time. Oh. Your performance as tree number three in your school play received excellent reviews. At least that's what your mom said. Deciding to use your natural gift, you dress up as a schoolboy. No cop would think twice when they saw you, and you could slip into the precinct completely unnoticed. Putting those method acting classes to good use, you decided to skip all the way to the precinct, all the way looking a giant, <laughs> multicolored lolly. <laughs> Me, swole my swole gaga. body. Yep. What's up? I'm a swole boy. Just imagine uh, The Rock Johnson wearing a one like old schoolboy outfit. As you reached the police station, you were stopped by a very confused looking officer. <laughs> Please, sir. Oh. <laughs> I'm just here to visit my daddy. You said batting your eyelids as innocently oh as you could. Oh, my God. <laughs> your ruse worked. This little guy. Wait, you lost you, influence, though. The officer asked you to wait on the bench while he fetched someone to escort you. You're a legend. Unfortunately, the officer returned rather quickly along with two very burly yeah, orderlies from Arkham Sanatorium. Oh. You two had a not so gently requested that you stay at the asylum for a while. Gain one sanity. Oh, okay, if right. you pass that, I was going to be so upset. <laughs> Please, sir. I just want to visit my dear. I just like the idea of like a swole gaga dressing up as a schoolboy. Like almost like um uh what's the guy from uh Zoolander? Um I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> just giant. giant. Just this giant yeah. swole gaga <laughs> in like a little <laughs> schoolboy outfit. Oh my god. That's awesome. Mm. I'm not even mad about that one. What are you gonna do, Ash? I think I might go to <clears throat> Madame Fufu's again. Okay. <laughs> I still gain two strength, so I'm the strongest lady mm-hmm. in all the land. Decide to take a break. You spend your save. Uh, you spend your evenings regaling patrons with soulful yet slightly disturbing tunes. Gain two performance and one sanity. Madame Fufu's was not what one would call a stand-up joint. What with all the gambling, drinking, and other things happening. So, it was no surprise when you heard the sound of sirens blaring over all the ruckus. A raid! Now, you all knew what was going to happen next. Madame Fufu will obviously pay the bribes needed to keep the place open, but the rest of you were fair game. The usual shouting, screaming, and roughhousing turned to shouting, screaming, and roughhousing as everyone fled for an exit. (laughs) The throng was clogging all the exits, and spending time in jail was really uh, going to throw a spanner into your ending the world plan. Prepare a bribe. I can't do that. Jump out a window. I think you have the dexterity for that, Ash. Let's go. Jumping out a window seemed like a good idea until halfway down, you remembered that you were on the fourth floor. Now, fear is wonderful thing in the threat of becoming a permanent art. Pavement art. Pavement art. Pavement art is a very real motivator to learn magic. That'll All of a it. sudden, you started casting a spell, <laughs> oh. one which you were very sure you had never heard before. Nice, nice. Inches from becoming a chalk outline, you came to an abrupt halt. Unfortunately, <gasps> you had no idea how to cancel a spell, so floating a few inches off the ground, you decided to doggy paddle your way back home. Oh, All right, oh. thank you. You still got some in. good stuff, though. For those greater bits. Gaga. Yeah, I mean, you, you still got four points. Like, some of these, yeah. you fail much harder. <laughs> I thought you All were right. going to pass that one. I thought for sure that was going to be your, your yeah. pass. This is the last one, guys. This is the All last right. turn. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I need? What do I need? What do it's I need? music, bro. I don't even know what you would need. I'm going to go Do I check with... any of the cards? No, that's I don't think not it matters. Gonna... I think they'll just unlock if we complete them, you know, which we just haven't yeah. had the luck. I bet it's one of those um, things that, like, you learn as you play the game more, like, how to 
Mm -hmm. Fine. Those, purple. You know? Did you guys know this? It says help in the window. Oh, geez. Yeah, it yeah. does. Okay. I'm gonna go downtown. Okay. He's going downtown. I'm gonna try planning another heist. You are trying heists on museums, profit collections. You get ample opportunity to practice your sleight of hand and reward it with the cold artifacts and treasures to fed. Skin one performance, one magic, one riches. You've arranged a meeting with some of Arkham's finest. As you arrive at the meeting place, you muse that calling these policemen finest might be a bit of an overstatement. Officers Berkeley and O'Sullivan step out of their cars as you approach. Having a couple of stand-up citizens in your back pocket could go a long way to securing your plans. Pay bribes. There must be some misunderstanding. Ooh. I think you can convince them of the misunderstanding. Uh, yeah, maybe. I think I can. Yeah. yeah. Also, Paranoid Survivor, uh, me and Ash actually played through the entire Divinity 2. Looking at the two imbecile cops, you realize that you might be better off without them. You explain to them that there must be some misunderstanding and that you were just uh, interested in a chat. Berkeley fumes. Let's chat again later. O'Sullivan slurs as he drunkenly gets back into the car. Wait, Aww. what? Aww. What the hell was I supposed to do? Was it smart? It must have been smarts. It is what the... I, I will never understand. I will never understand. Yeah, I don't either. Um... I'm what going for, to Jazz? double down on the insanity. Oh, go for it, yeah. Let's do it. I'm gonna yeah. experiment. In a dark secret corner of the asylum, you perform an occult and scientific experiments on patients forgotten by society. You make great strides in your understanding of the occult, but it takes a serious toll on your sanity. One knowledge, two sanity. I am insane. A reporter from the Arkham Chronicle has been hanging out around the sanitarium. Apparently, he's following leads on people going missing and suspicious activities in the asylum. With a little money, you can make this problem go away. Alternatively, you could try to have them committed, but that would require a lot of paperwork. Hmm. Let's have We're a little tripping. accident. I got the money. Well, you could have them committed, baby. I don't know how I can do that. These kinds of accidents require some uh, some with a particular set of skills. Skills weren't that worse, weren't that cheap, but unfortunately, you had been saving up for just such an occasion. You paid Next me for morning, it. Next morning. The police found the body of the reporter. According to reports, he had accidentally backed into a knife 11 <laughs> times, <laughs> tripped, <laughs> fell off a cliff, and drowned in the forest below. Yep. Apparently, he had also taken the time to write you a note in which he bequeathed you his gym membership and tickets to complimentary dance class. Nice! Yes! Nice. I lost my money, though. It's fine. Yeah. All, All right, right Prutzi. So Thank here's you, the Swolgaga. deal. Uh, Swolgaga could either... <clears throat> Get swoller, or could gamble everything away. Because I got a lot of money. What's the point of getting swoller? Like you're already swollen the max, and nobody could possibly get stronger than you. Um, are. because I could get even swoller. Okay. Have you seen these guns? I have. If you can still I've... see them, then they don't. They're not so big that they exist in a second okay, dimension. You, you are, face this you are time. swole and you are rich. You don't have much else going on. I guess. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna spend all my money. Let's gamble! Spend your time gambling and feeding the debaucherous habits of some of the more weak-willed patrons. Fools quickly find themselves in your debt. You won zero riches, but gained an influence. Apparently, during a little stay at Arkham Sanitarium, Cedric Goodfellow had sung like a canary. <gasps> Cedric. In particular, like a canary who had it in for you. Yeah, that's fair. Didn't I beat him up earlier? Thankfully, yes. you'd been out of the afternoon, but when you had returned, <laughs> the cops were all over the place. Cursing your luck a bit too vehemently, you attracted the attention of one of the officers. After some creative storytelling and alternative facts, you convinced the officer that you were just an innocent bystander. Game two performance. Standing on the outside of the police line, your heart sank as you watched the cops confiscate some of your possessions. <gasps> what? <gasps> Oh my god. Wow. What? I didn't even get an option. can't take your mask. You did not even get an option. Rick, you don't get to complain <laughs> ever again. That was a gamble for sure. You know what, though? Considering all the times you won, no, I'm, okay I, I, with I'm that. sorry. You at least got options. I didn't get an option. All right, Ash, what are you going to do? Wow. It gave um, me the illusion of options. It gave me the illusion of that's, options. That's trash. So it literally is a gamble going there. It's literally yeah. like you can just lose or win. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep going on this. Uh, cast spells. You summon Eldritch Horrors. Power grows. Gain two magic. Lose one sanity. No self-respecting mage should be without a familiar. Oh, I hope you get something cute. Keza had brown Jack Jenkin. Merlin had an owl. And that young fop Dumbledore even had his bloody phoenix. <laughs> it was, was not his only- His name was Fox. Nerds. 
It was not only fashionable, but familiars were also useful for getting things done. Having made up your mind, it was time for you to get one. You decide what you wanted to gain out of your familiar. Heavy lifting or magical secrets? I mean, I could use heavy lifting, but do I need to have strength to have heavy lifting? I feel like this is probably yeah. This is magical this is secrets. Another confusing You're magic. Thing. You're a magical boy. Like it feels like it's telling you it can gift you these things, right? Mm-hmm. You're a I'll magical boy, so magic makes sense, right? Yeah, you I might as well like, double down on magic. I as guess far so. as we know. Having the afternoon off, you opened a portal to the troll market. It was literally the best and only place to buy magical creatures. Bobo, thank you for that resub. Thank you, Bobo. One year, booyah! Yeah, well, a lot of one years today. <laughs> you walked around a bit, but couldn't find exactly what you were looking for. Just before giving up, you were approached by a goblin with a fine plume in his wide-brimmed hat. <laughs> Who wants to be Goblin Boy? Pleased to meet you, sir, madam. He tries to suss out your gender, but it was clear that he was having much to, he didn't have much to do with humans. Uh, you look like uh, the kind of person who would be interested in buying a magical companion. He carried on, apparently having a flair for stating the obvious. As it just so happens, I am having a clearance sale and would be willing to part with this creature for the bargain price of only three pieces of lint. You tried to keep from smiling. This was truly a bargain. Not even taking the time to examine the creature, you quickly rummage through your pockets for pieces of lint, finally picking out, uh, picking <laughs> one out of your navel when you nearly came up short. Gross. You beamed as you took your new familiar home. Aww. <laughs> the wiry, impish creature stood only about six inches tall, and you figured the gag around his mouth must have been some <laughs> fashion feature. Is this Dobby? <laughs> Upon arriving home, you were Don't curious about what magical knowledge your new imp uh, would impart upon you, and you excitedly remove his gag. And oh, did he impart knowledge. <laughs> With the speed of a motorboat, the little creature started rambling off all kinds of magical practices and secrets. In order you to make an everlasting potion, you must use it through three pieces of Newton, four frog's eyes. You jot it down as much as you could. I gained one knowledge. After all hours of writing, your hand started to cramp, and you were signaling for the imp that he could stop, but apparently that was the only thing that he didn't know how to do. Brian J His says you bought magical claptrap. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> His rambling went on for hours, then days, showing no signs of stopping. I lose one sanity. Finally, not uh, not able to take it anymore, you sold him to one of the alkalites for a low, low price of two pieces <laughs> of lint. Hey, you I passed. passed. Your first pass, man. I, was, I had no choices, but I passed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. running kid. Five hundred bits. Gotta go now, boy. Thanks, uh, running kid. Thank you so much. All right, thank it's time, you. guys. It is time. All right, it is time. It's time. Oh, oh so now oh. you pick which one you are going to be. God. Oh my it. god. Oh my god. Really? Um ugh. I figure so you at uh, Rick are what's your best skill? I, I Magic think influence. Oh no, influence. influence. Yeah. Um, so that's the question. like which one is the friggin' maybe Cockroach is stealing, I would imagine. Or FBI hateful infiltrator screech, maybe? Or um or the vigilant? This seems like sanity. Uh, see, this is why I'm so friggin' confused. Well, I feel like you're either the hateful speech or the FBI yeah. infiltrator. But if FBI you click on it, yeah, can you click on it? If you click on it, I think you won't select it yet. Okay, good. For your okay. doom, For your doom be... From the Wolf and Chief's clip. So that's like a... That's more subterfuge. Right. So Try click on the, the, hateful, the hateful screech. Um, <clears throat> that one. Through the hateful Blessed. screech of Ur, the blessed shouter scream will make the ancient dreamer. Let's see, these are so confusing. They're very confusing. Um, be prepared for the intruder and the craven traitor. That one seems to be prices. He alone may carry the blessed tome to the most holy temple. I don't know, that sounds... Hmm, I might do that one, but like that sounds more magic-y, actually. First rule, yes, this is... Uh, oh my goodness. After 100,000 years, conjecture visible only to the mad astronomer will once. That sounds like somebody who's insane. That's Maybe, me. Yeah. 
Uh, the strike of the Jade Gong. It's mystical resonance adding cadence to the ceremony. Ooh. Maybe I that don't... one? That might be performance. This yeah. seems like ceiling right here. Uh, let us crow sound with the doom of the world. Um, this is tough. It's so tough. Oh, that, that was money. Gem study. I, that's that one's money. That one's money. Because there's a, there's a money sound around their neck. Mm. Oh. Oh, that was performance then, because it's musical notes. Right. That's Yeah, that's totally what I'm thinking. Um, oh, and it says ceremony. This one says sacrifice. This one says omen. omen. This one says sacred, sacred relic. Sacred relic. Uh, traitor. traitor. And defense. 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 Shit, dude. Okay. Okay. I Crap. think you can choose between Rick, honestly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go speech. I'm gonna go hateful screech because I have okay. some performance. Yeah. There we go. Oh my okay. goodness. This game right, is so I difficult. I think this is me. I have insanity and knowledge. I think this yeah. is me. I think that, that is. Like that. that sounds about right. All yeah. right, so for the body, there's a couple here that I could see. Because like this one at first I was like, oh, that makes sense, right? It's this but big I think thing. that might be knowledge. But I think it's this knowledge or something, because it's about heal him and carry the blessed tome to the most holy temple. So it's not really about something big. Right. right. It's about reading. I didn't never said I could read. And at this the bottom one, it says Grimoire. Yeah, this one says the sorcerer will by his own hand slay Kapajo and pour his steam, but it's sorcerer, so maybe that's magic. So then this one says but defense. But it says by his own hand, though. Yeah. Yeah, the blood. That one's defense. I think that one might be you, Price. Yeah. Or Jade Gong, because the thing about Jade Gong that I'm thinking of that makes this is like, I'm so big, I could hit that gong so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with the Vigilant. Yeah, I was a that's what I would from do. The beginning. I'm going with the Vigilant. All right, Ash, All right. your turn. I could be either magic or performance. Um, mm. so yeah, magic is what you got the most of. So maybe that blood of uh, the blood of Kappa Joe. Kappa Joe. The blood of the cup, cup of Joe. Joe. It's a cup it of is. Joe, y'all. It's coffee. Yep, it's a cup of Joe. <sighs> this is hard. It's I a cup it's, of uh, it's either this cup of one or the gong one. It's pronounced. You have cup a of high kino. performance too. You could do that one. Ooh. I'd say go for the sorcerer. You're eight, man. Yeah. You're eight. Right, but I think that this one might also be magic because it says mystical. Um, and it's also performance, so you might be able to do it. That's true. If you needed to combine two things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna go for that one. The reckoning. reckoning. Okay. Truth be told, you only learned this week that stars were actually suns. Ooh. Okay. You excited went to tell the other cultists, but they just stared at you. You started laughing, pretending it was a joke, and diffusing <laughs> a potentially disastrous situation. You remember poor Melvin. Poor Melvin. He was supposedly <gasps> trying to. He he was supposed to sing the litany of the dire portents. When the others found out he couldn't sing worth a damn, he was decapitated and his skull reanimated to do the job instead. Oh jeez. You shiver a bit as you stroke your neck absentmindedly. Here goes. It has started, you bluff, hoping no one noticed your tremble in your voice. Major oh. fail! Oh. You assume your position at the ritual. The other cultists, in def deference to your importance uh, to the ritual, make no comment of the fact you are in your underwear, and some even compliment your stylish <laughs> toilet paper fashion. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't really sure whether you were truly crazy or just performing your part. When the signal is given, you start to scream. Having no actual vocal talent, you assume that's all there is to it. Giving everyone uh, around you a moronic grin, you wait. See, it's fucking performance. Yeah. Major fail. Yeah. But you had performance, though. As the ritual is about to start, you walk ceremoniously up to the... To the, the Jade, Jade Stone Gong. Gong. Silence settles on the congregated group, and you give the gong a deft strike. Come you on! You smirk at the distressed faces of your alkalites as no so sound emanates from the gong. No sound that they can hear, that is. You, however, are perfectly attuned with the mystical nice. properties of the Jade Gong, and every masterful strike, you feel the magic flowing into you, and its outwardly resonance growing stronger and stronger till its haunting music fills your mind. Epic hey. success! Hey, good, good job, job Ash! Ash. As the ceremony reaches its end, you are still standing off to the side, hand never far from your gun, eye flitting about looking for treason or intruders. Nothing happened. You can't help but feel that this was a waste of your talents, that you could have helped the ritual much more in another capacity. Wow, that's, um, that's I fair. was the only one that won! <laughs> Ash can go to hell. Um, well, Swole Ash Gaga was, was not allowed time, to this be entire time. the swollest of Gagas, and I just I feel like that's unfair. You know. End your turn. Defeat. 
Oh, so, oh, okay. So do we all need to succeed? I think we all I need to succeed. Oh, the ritual quiets down and all eyes turn to the immense carved door nestled onto the side of the temple. It's squid dragon Ba's relief glistening wet in the moonlight. After 15 minutes of waiting, a dreaded realization started to gnaw at your mind. After an hour, only the ones too stubborn to admit defeat were still left on the island. As the moon set behind the waves, only the ones who could not deal with the horror of what they had done for seemingly no gain were still on the island as it again started to sink beneath the waves. In the end... In the end... The nice thing about having no power is that you also didn't have any powerful enemies. Okay. As the other cultists abandoned ship and the FBI started closing in, many of their leverage, uh, many used their leverage to cut deals or called in old favors. Inevitably, though, the, inevitably, though, their uh, indentured, indentured followers, followers uh, would turn on them, selling them out and insur insuring, insuring, insuring uh, that all compromising <laughs> evidence was safely dip disposed of. Now, you, on the other hand, had no power in the cult, and no one would want to see you hanged for some bit of blackmail. You just quietly slipped back into normal society and became a postman or something. Okay. Or something. Oh, Having no. no real talent for performing, you decided to become a mine. Deciding to take your act to the next level, you started using a real wall instead of an invisible wall. Your brave use of physical objects and mime revolutionized the art. <laughs> Unfortunately, this caused the Miming Guild to receive a major lawsuit from the Acting Guild for malicious infringement upon subject matter reserved for the sole purpose of specific art form. The mimes were speechless <laughs> at the accusation. <laughs> womp womp. But settled out of court. You had to leave the guild in disgrace, never to be heard from again. It's pretty sad. Mm -hmm. uh, with the ritual over, you turned to the only profession you knew and became a night shift security guard at the museum. Look how hey. happy I am. The long nights of boredom didn't quell your thoughts that perhaps if you had taken a more active role in the ritual, things might have been different. One night, as you were sullenly mulling over different possible outcomes, you accidentally brushed against a ruined brass orb on display. All of a sudden, the orb started levitating and spinning on its own axis. No stranger to occult phenomena, you watched in anticipation. Suddenly, the orb rocketed backwards and seemed to tear a hole into the air. <laughs> as you approached the new portal, you recognized the images you saw. The scenes playing out in front of you were from a couple of weeks ago. As you stared at the tear in time, you realized that you might still change your fate. You flung your security hat aside, loosened your tie, and stepped through the portal with a smile. This time, it would be different. Or would it? Okay. And turn. I changed my fate! Maybe. You don't know that. I did. You don't know that. You don't know that. We don't know you it. Don't it's know Schrodinger's that. fate. I don't know. My fate since is changed. I did it. Good job, me. I'm the best. GG. Since people would have believe, uh, since people would believe just about anything if you told them it was the stars, you started writing an astrology column for the Arkham Times. At that point, it started bothering you that people based their entire lives on what you said and the stars foretold. But then you realized it was no less evil than being part of a world destroying cult. Fair. That's it. Nope. That's is pretty straight I just to the point. Doing the horoscopes. Pumped. All right. Earth Have ten more points in body. Boom and participant. Interesting. So now we've unlocked seven of these points. The Eldritch. The Eldritch yeah. points. Yeah. Okay. Destroyed a building. We did that. Uh, Good job, Rick. You're in two points. A, and then uh, successfully performed the ritual uh, instrument for the roll. We got three points. So we did it. We got right. some points. Cool. Cool. Okay. I guess you have to play this game multiple times. And really, I think uh, you do, because I have to imagine that, you know, we had defeat at the end, but I have to imagine there is a way to properly summon an Eldritch God and, totally. and have victory that way. So I'm curious what that looks like. Um, everyone, that's been Fatagian. Fatagian. What'd you guys think? Let us know. Um, I like this. This was really fun. It's a lot of fun. Thank you again to the developers for buying us early access to this dark young expansion. I believe it'll be available uh, on Steam sometime this month in October. So keep your eyes tuned for that. Uh, all right. With that, we're going to move on to something else. Something else.